Welcome back to the IRE in Las Vegas, everybody. My name is Dave Vellante, and you're watching theCUBE's coverage of SaaS Explore, hashtag Explore SaaS. Marinella Profi is here. She's the AI Solutions Marketing Lead for SaaS. And Colin Nug Nugturin, who's the co-founder of Notalize. Welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, David. It's so we're, awesome to be here. We're going to talk hacking. So yeah. you guys have, this, you have a, a hackathon heritage. Tell us about yes. the SaaS hackathon. What's the scope? What's the, what's the history? Okay, so the SaaS hackathon started as an idea that we, we brought as a proof of concept in Europe. We started it from Europe and now it's become a global event that we've been loving it from the past two, three years. So what is the SaaS hackathon? The SaaS hackathon is basically a competition that lasts for, more, for one month, it's all digital. We have teams across different industries, different organizations, different backgrounds that compete and build real world use cases using AI, using machine learning, using our platform, SaaS via our AI analytics platform. Uh, and for over a month, and they built solutions that solve real world problems. So for example, just to give you a few numbers, we had 1,400 applications this year across 75 different countries. I didn't know if, if that existed that many countries. 75 <laughs> different countries. That ended up to more than, you know, we had 100 teams and over, you know, more than 40 uh, uh, organizations. And the beautiful thing is that the teams, they could be data scientists, they could be statisticians, they could be really passionate about data, they could be students or business anal anal analysts, they could be marketers. So it's a really, really diverse uh, kind of competition. And the idea is to use SaaS technology with open source technology to build real world challenges. And I can give you a few examples really quickly of things that some teams built. Uh, we had, for example, a a hospital in Portugal, they work to better detect sepsis in newborn infants. We had a team from Kazakhstan. Um, they basically built a digital twin, a digital twin to optimize gold mining and other industrial processes. We had a Japanese team and they worked to build a health device for older adults to monitor like their posture, their heart rate, uh, and, and you know, detect diseases and prevent uh, you know, death. Or we had a team from Poland, they analyzed social media data to ne identify negative body images and, and signs of self-loathing. So this is just to give you an idea of the, of the diversity wow, of Wow, amazing, that. 1400, of course over a month. Yeah. I want to get into a little bit more detail there before I do. Colin, Notalize, what's the background on the company? Well, thank you for your, um, for your interest. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, so I'm Colin from Notalize and we are a SaaS partner in, based in the Netherlands. We work with customers all across Europe to make, get the most out of their SaaS environments, mostly on VIA. And uh, we compete in the SaaS hackathon since the first, uh, well, the first time that they started it in Europe and well, it's been so much fun. Okay, so you participated this year. Uh, tell us about your participation. What was the team like? What was the project that you initiated? Did so, it evolve over time as, uh, within that 30 day period? Yes, definitely. So we were asked by a cheese factory in the Netherlands to work with them uh, to optimize their production process. And um, well, they actually found us because we did this other hackathon project last year in which we were one of the winners in the manufacturing uh, uh, topic and this year we started with this new company and we knew nothing about cheese, but we learned a lot in 30 days. I know a lot about <laughs> cheese, I'm Italian, so <laughs> I know a lot about it. You know, you know about making cheese? Or just I wish, cheese? no, uh, just okay. eating, just eating. <laughs> okay, but it's all about data, right? I mean, that's the beauty of yes, data. Exactly. You, can, you don't have to know right. a lot necessarily, although, so, so what was the outcome of the, the, the project and the hack? Well, in the end, we helped to optimize the use of the data for the technologist in the factory to uh, make certain that they can produce much more cheese. So, um, it not only we speed up their process because they have all the data now available to them and uh, we build models to advise them on certain changes in the settings. And um, finally, we were able to improve six to seven percent of the yield, so that's a huge win for a factory with 100 million 67. kilograms. 67. Wow. Six, six, six to seven. Six to seven. Sorry. I was like, okay, no. <laughs> okay, so six to seven percent yields, which is drops right to the bottom line. Yes, exactly. Okay. I was going to say 67. That would have been horribly unproductive, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> you know, they, they, I couldn't believe they stay in business. <laughs> is this a competition? Well. This is more than just a competition. Well, we, we, you know, everybody who participates is a winner. We like to say it that way, because at the end of the day, the winner owned the IP. 
What oh. you're building is yours. Tim Nautilize, that's them. It's okay. continuing to work. And we love seeing how our, the teams that participate in the SaaS hackathon, they continue to evolve after the hackathon, commercializing their solutions, putting in the model marketplace, developing, deploying the model they built during that month. So, but obviously we'll have a winner. Obviously, we say we like to say everybody is a winner, but we'll have a grand champion. Okay. And we're going to be announcing that to on Thursday here in Las Vegas at SAS Explore on main stage. You're going to have to tell us. Yeah, we'll have to watch and see who that is so we can socialize it. Oh yeah. So, what was the motivation for you getting involved in this? Was it just sort of to meet colleagues, to have some fun, to win the prize? Well, all of that, of course. Look, we are a small company, so we have a team of 20 people by now, but we are growing quickly, so there are new people coming in every day, and um, they need to get up and running, using SaaS, applying real products, and uh, building something on a time pressure, time scale. So, um, well, we had a team captain, and we found a few of our colleagues that wanted to help him, and we did a great job in the end. And, and do they basically, what did you do? You say, okay, you got a month, to go do this, you can take some time off and this is your job, or did you say, this is your night and weekend project? <laughs> <laughs> well, like, it's which, a mix which is what I would do. But <laughs> so, of course, we, the other projects are not stopped, so uh, they get a few days a week off to, uh, to actually do this, and um, well, in the end, it was very successful. Yeah. And uh, we won the manufacturing category. And they oh. are the manufacturing winners category. And one thing that I want to add there is that uh, as part of the SaaS hackathon, each team has a SaaS mentor that works with them throughout the entire month ah. to provide advice on the technology, consulting, and expertise to make sure that the team is fully on board. Wait, wait, how many, how many teams were there? You had 1,400 apps, there was 100 teams. 100 teams, that means 100 mentors. So you had to, Call, did, did you say 1,400 apps? We applications? had 1,400 individual applications and then we combined them into teams and it ended up being 100 teams. Okay, so you had to narrow those down, but still you had, you had to provide 100 SaaS experts. Yes. Was that, was that, did you have a draft? Like, <laughs> would you pull them out of a hat? How, well, like, actually, actually we had a call for app mentors application and we had more mentors than we needed. So we had to filter them down I mean, people are so uh, passionate about the hackathon. It's really a hands-on experience where you can just only literally learn, so. Is there any visibility during the month as to what some of the other teams are doing? Um, oh, yes. you know, that's like a question a, is there for like you. A, is there like a leaderboard or <laughs> a progress board? Or? Well, we share things both on social media and on the SaaS uh, web pages. Yeah. And uh, we have to push, publish updates uh, like every week. To, uh, to see what's happening, and uh, there is a lot of interesting projects coming on uh, from, this, from these different teams, and you now we've learned a lot about these different topics as well, and came across some of the applications that we hadn't thought of ourselves yet, so it's been a great experience. Is it, and, you know, so everything's in GitHub, right? Is that true or no? People go well, in and snoop. Our project is, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Not, not, projects are, not for everybody's projects. Yeah, the financial services guys, they hide all their stuff. <laughs> yeah, you know. exactly, it depends <laughs> on the industry. <laughs> and, and, and you said your, your work is mostly in, Vi, in, Vi, in Via, is that right? Everything is in Via. Yeah, okay. How, how's that experience been for you? Well, it's a great place to have all your data and models in one, uh, in one place, and your team can collaborate uh, within the different parts of VIA, ranging from the data, getting it in, cleaning it up, and then building the first models, uh, analyzing the data, visualizing it, and also building the final application that our customers should be using. So, um, and we have all that in one place, and that's something that's really uh, powerful, and we as a SaaS partner have been working with many SaaS clients to move their progress to the, no, to the SaaS cloud and to VIA, and that has been great step from where we were, so this really helps to enable that. Oh, that's music to my ears. Is, is, <laughs> it, is it like, um, like a, everybody starts at the same blank sheet of paper? Yeah. You get, you, st you start yeah. with this, yes. and then you've got to spin gotta, up your cloud, you've got to yeah, yeah, provision yeah. your infrastructure. Or? Well, it might sound really complicated like, like that, but we actually have a, a learning environment where we provide a lot of learning resources, obviously for free, and it could be around cloud, it could be around app development, it could be around SaaS via, how to build models, uh, open source, so the teams 
you know, we have this learning platform for free for a month, as well as some access to the mentorship. So, I mean, obviously, the first weeks are all about building the app and, and building the project, and then the last week or so, I would say, that's how long it took, like, they, they do the, because they have to submit something, right? Like, what do you submit? It's a video. So they have to submit a video that then a jury of experts takes a few weeks to just see through, go through 100 videos. <laughs> Um, and select winners for different categories for each industry, and then we have a grand champion all across all the different categories. And it's the video of the outcome, or the yeah. process, or both, or? Well, both. Yeah. <laughs> for us, it was one of the hardest parts <laughs> to make a yeah. good video to show what you have done, actually. So uh, that has been a challenge as well. You guys well, <laughs> did a great <laughs> job, though. You did you put it to music, or what? <laughs> Oh, oh, you did, so there's a little marketing Sometimes, involved. Oh yeah, the most creation. creative ones are the ones that catch judges' eyes. Right, yeah. right, right. How often do you do the hackathon? Is it a once a year thing? Or? It's once a year. We typically do it around like March, and, March and, April. And, and you do it now globally? You don't do it in, do it globally. it's not Europe? And nope, we do it globally. But it started in Europe. It started in Europe at first because we wanted to we wanted to kind of test it as like as a yeah. in a in a smaller environment, but then we just saw that the interest was so much. We're like, guys, let's just let's just make this global. Um, there is we have a website, sas.com/hackathon. You can say up, you know, people can go and you guys can see you stay updated, see the grand champion. Uh, submit your interest if you want to apply for next year's hackathon. What is it, SAS Hackathon? SAS Hackathon. Great, and um, you're going to compete next year. Well, it's great. There's actually, there are already customers calling us and say, well, we have an interesting case for you. So, uh, well, the, the new spreads. <laughs> so, the new spreads. So, you get a product out of this, right? At the end of the day, right? It's something well, that it's, you could. It's been a huge surprise to us. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Well, guys, congratulations. And Thanks, uh, David. really appreciate you guys sharing the story with us. And can't wait to hear about the winner. Thank you. Yes, yeah, Thursday morning, SAS Explorer. Yeah, and check out sashackathon.com. Yep. Put in your app now. Yes. Right? Yes. And, uh, and, and maybe you'll get selected. Yes, absolutely. Right. We can't wait to see next year's SAS Hackathon. Well, thanks, you guys. Hey, thanks, this is David. a wrap on uh, this. Is, we, so, one day here for theCUBE. Hopefully, we'll be back next spring and do a multi day CUBE, which we'd love to do. But uh, check out all the videos at thecube.net. Everything will be on demand as soon as the, uh, the, the videos go up. We, have, we get them up very, very quickly. Go to siliconangle.com for all the news. And uh, this is Dave Vellante. We'll see you next time. We'll be back out here next week and we'll be in DC. So double show next week. Dave Vellante for John Furrier. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. <laughs>